everyone and welcome to We Women Empowered being brought to you by Radio Fundu. Women Empowered is a network through radio and social media to connect women of all walks of life to inspire and motivate each other to succeed in their personal, social and professional goals. Visit www.wenetworkonline.socialgo.com That's wenetworkonline.socialgo.com And you can also find us on Facebook as We Network Online. I'm your host, Renu Dillon, and we'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Do you know what genius means? The original meaning of genius means to give birth to joy, and that is within each child as related to the word Genesis. Every child comes into life with wonder, curiosity, spontaneity, flexibility and many other joyful qualities. It is imperative that as educators and parents we help preserve these genius qualities of children as they mature into adulthood. And this is exactly what we do at The Little Genius Kid. A brand new center and the very first franchise of Genius Kids open in San Ramon, our vision is tender loving care to think, lead and communicate. Our goal is to provide high standards of education in creative fun classrooms and dedicate our unique accelerated learning methods to developing leaders of tomorrow. Targeting age groups 2 to 12, call 925-244-1080. That's 925-244-1080. Or visit thelittlegeniuskid.com. That's the L-I-L geniuskid.com. Committed to serving fresh, innovative and high quality Indian food at affordable prices? Using only fresh or natural halal chicken and free range grass fed halal lamb? Sourcing organic vegetables? Stocking a variety of beverages that do not contain HFCS? Keeping their food 100% free of MSG and trans fats? That's right, for 11 years the Maho family has been sharing their passion for Indian cooking with the Bay Area community at Chaat Cafe. Chaat Cafe was the first to introduce tandoori wraps and chaat. Open every day for lunch, dinner or even a cup of chai and a snack, customers should look out for specials on the weekends such as Amritsari kulcha, pao keema, goat curry and tandoori roti. Fast, fresh and casual, visit them at 1902 University Avenue in Berkeley, 3954 Mari Avenue in Fremont or 834 Blossom Hill Road in San Jose. Or you can check them out on their website at www.chartcafes.com. Does your auto insurance meet your needs? Are you happy with your current insurance company or would you like to find some comparable rates? Then call Jatinder Pankar. Jatinder Pankar is a farmer's insurance agent who can review your car insurance coverage, help you identify potential gaps and let you know about any farmer's auto insurance discounts for which you may qualify. Call Jatinder today at 510-673-3635. That's 510-673-3635 for a no obligation quote. Jatinder is known for his prompt, friendly service. Call 510-673-3635 or email jpankar at farmersagent.com. Described as a classroom for the future, a school that shapes tomorrow's citizens, nominated best preschool in Alameda County and winning best educational service is most likely place to find a Silicon Valley inventor. And now selected by CNN Money and Time Warner as one of the six most innovative and inspirational companies in the country, Genius Kids is now an official franchise. Opening its first franchise in San Ramon at the Bishop Ranch on February the 1st, 2011, the Little Genius Kid franchise offers an exciting and innovative business model that is easy and rewarding. Call 1-888-LIL-GENIUS. That's 1-888-LITTLE-GENIUS or 510-364-4033 for more information. Give your child a gift of a lifetime, the ability to read, think and communicate at a young age. Only at Genius Kids. Visit www.geniuskidsonline.com or call 510-364-4033. Do you love talking? Are you opinionated, passionate and charming with screen presence and poise? Have you always wished to be a TV host and personality? Well, this is your chance. In Diva 2011 being brought to you by Renu Dillon is produced in collaboration with Women Now TV and Sheetal Ori and our exclusive media sponsor Radio Fundu. 
In Viva is that platform for the South Asian woman who seeks to be the face and voice of tomorrow. The winner of the event will become the co-host of the Voice for the Bay Area Women Now TV show, which is www.womennow.tv and an opportunity to host TV Asia programming as well. TV Asia is the first coast-to-coast -coast entertainment and information channel for the South Asian community settled in the United States. The competition is open to South Asian women ages 18 plus, age is no limit, single, married or divorced, who is a legal U.S. resident. The winner may be from any part of the United States. We have a special segment called the Young Ambassadors Award. We understand and appreciate that there are many young aspiring teens who wish to be on media and television, and this segment is open to teens ages 15 to under 18. The winner will be the Young Ambassador for Women Now TV show in their own city or state of residence and will cover important topics there. For more information, call Renu at 510-364-4033. That's 510-364-4033. Hello everyone and welcome. For those who've just tuned in, you're listening to Women Empowered being brought to you by Radio Fundu. Women Empowered is a network through radio and social media to connect women of all walks of life to inspire and motivate each other to succeed in their personal, social and professional goals. Find us on Facebook as We Network Online or visit www.wenetworkonline.socialgo.com. Our weekly show is every Wednesdays from 10.30 to 11 o'clock in the morning and targets all women, the housewives, the students, the mothers, the entrepreneurs, the professionals, the senior decision makers, the young, the middle-aged, the senior citizens and every woman that wishes to advance their interests and share their voice and views. Remember, women's empowerment is vital to sustainable development and the realization of human rights for all. We believe that every woman is the full circle with the power to create, nurture and transform. I'm your host, Renu Dillon, and I'm thrilled to empower all the women for the next 30 minutes. Today, our show is focused on the missing girls in India and female feticide. Some of the worst gender ratios in in indicating gross violation of women's rights are found in South and East Asian countries such as India and China. The determination of the sex of the fetus by ultrasound scanning, amniocentesis, and in vitro fertilization has aggravated the situation. This situation is further worsened by the lack of awareness of women's rights and by the indifferent attitude of governments and medical professionals. Although the killing of women exists in various forms and societies in the world, the Indian society displays some very unique and particularly brutal versions such as dowry deaths and sati. Female feticide is an extreme manifestation of violence against women. The birth of a son is regarded as an essential in Hinduism and many prayers and lavish offerings are made in the temple in the hope of having a male child. Modern medical technology is used in the service of this religion-driven devaluing of women and girls. Today, we have invited Naina Pad Kaputi, a founder of Global Walk for India's Missing Girls, and the producer and director of the movie, upcoming movie, Petals in the Dust. Welcome, Naina. Thank you so much, Renu, for having me on the show. You're welcome. And you know, I was so intrigued when I read about your, um, the walk that you're having um, on Saturday in San Francisco. And I really, really felt that I needed someone like you to come on our uh, station, on our program, and really educate the public. Because I think this is one issue that uh, we know that it's there, but we pretend it doesn't exist. So let me ask you something. When and why did you find the, uh, found the Global Walk? So a, a couple of years ago, my uh, husband and I were looking to adopt a baby girl from India, and uh, one of the orphanages we visited uh, pointed out a lake in the vicinity and said this, you know, before the orphanage was built, they used to drown baby girls here. And uh, I was so shocked when I heard about this. Uh, I did more research about, you know, female infanticide, and uh, the numbers that I came across were really, you know, uh, awful. That almost every day 7,000 baby girls are being killed. Uh, and you know, these are the cases that are reported. So I felt I needed to create awareness about this issue by you know, doing a documentary film, by you know, starting something at the grassroots level, like a, a walk to create awareness. So let me ask you something. In which parts of the world is this? Uh, I believe this is the second walk. Is it the an second annual yeah. walk? <clears throat> this is the second annual walk. Uh, last year's walk uh, took place in San Francisco and uh, six other cities in India, Australia, and uh, Kuwait. This year, besides San Francisco, as of now, we have uh, 16 other cities participating, um, more than 12 cities in India, uh, Canada, and uh, Dubai, if we get the permission to walk over there. 
You mean you do need to get permission to do a walk in Dubai on this subject? Yes, because the, the according to the Dubai officials, they, they, it's such a sensitive issue that they don't want to upset the Indian government. So, uh, oh my gosh, that's that's atrocious. Um, so let me ask you a question: Who are the organizers of some of these walks? Who are the people uh, that are involved? So it's really interesting. Most of them are, you know, just regular people like me who uh, feel very strongly about this cause. A lot of them are school and college students. In Chennai, we have 10, 16-year-old students who are organizing the walk there. In Chandigarh, we have another student. In D.C., we have another student. And then there are nonprofits uh, that are involved as well. So, you know, it's all kinds of people coming together. And when you had this the first time last year, um, how was your response? I was pretty happy with it. In San Francisco, we had about 100 people walk. And then in India and in Mumbai, we had over 200 people and celebrities like Dolly Thakur, you know, participating. Then in Jamshedpur, we had about 1,000 people, students from XLRI College, you know, as well, walked with it, and girls and women. So it was good. And this year, it's been overwhelming. You know, I started again with a few cities and through Facebook and other social network networking, you know, um, People have been coming forward and saying, we want to organize a walk in our city. So I'm very happy. You know, but I'm uh, picking up that you're, you're mentioning a lot of the college kids. Yeah. So are you noticing more of the younger generation are responding and the older generation are not really getting involved? Uh, to a certain extent, it's a good, very good question. I think uh, some of the older de generation are either in denial or find this issue to be too controversial. But uh, I'm so happy to see the, you know, the youth of India f taking this cause up so seriously and wanting to take a stand for these baby girls. To me, they are the future parents. They are the ones who are going to decide if their daughters are going to live or not. So, uh, you know, I think that's the, that's the audience we need to uh, target. Absolutely. And for those who have just tuned in, you're listening to Women Empowered. And we are talking to Naina today, who is the founder of the Global Walk for India's Missing Girls, which is happening on Saturday, March the 5th. And you can visit her website, petalsinthedust.com. That's petalsinthedust.com. And you can also find this information on Facebook as Global Walk for India's Missing Girls. Or you can contact Nina at 415-823-4429. We'll be right back after these messages. Where can you find Indian cuisine packed with flavor and the liberal use of organic vegetables, fresh or natural halal chicken, and free-range grass-fed halal lamb? Where can you find Indian cuisine serving fresh, innovative and high quality Indian food at affordable prices? Where can you find Indian cuisine served with a variety of beverages that do not contain HFCS? Committed to serving innovative and high quality Indian food, offering a range of tantalizing layers of flavors in a matter of minutes, then you need to go to Chart Cafe. With convenient locations in Fremont, San Jose, Berkeley and San Francisco, visit chartcafe.com. Since 1999, the Mahal family has been sharing their passion for Indian cooking with the Bay Area community. If you are seeking the quick curry for an easy weeknight meal or a medley of dishes for an Indian themed dinner party or grabbing the quick lunch or dinner, then Chart Cafe is your answer. Visit Chart Cafe today, fast, fresh and casual. We know it is difficult to imagine a time when you won't be there to help provide for your family. This is why Farmers Insurance has developed a suite of life insurance products designed to help answer your life insurance requirements at any stage of life. Whether you're a new family, empty nester, business owner or a single parent, you need to call Jitinda Prankar today at 510-673-3635. That's 510-673-3635. Farmers has a life insurance option to suit your needs and budget. For a personalized assessment of your life insurance needs, give Jitendra a call at 510-673-3635. 50 million girls have been eliminated from India's population in the last century. 10 million girls have been killed by their parents either before or immediately after birth in the last two decades. The average ratio of women to men is 927 to 1000 based on the last census in 2001 and in some parts of North India it is as low as 750 women to 1000 men. This needs to stop and it needs to stop today. We appeal to all of you to support the Global Walk for India's Missing Girls scheduled for Saturday, March the 5th at 11 o'clock in the morning in San Francisco at the City Hall. Please call Nina at 415-823-4429 for more information. That's 415-823-4429. Or you can visit www.petalsinthedust.com. 
That's P E T A L S in the dust.com. Akshaya Patra is the world's largest NGO run midday meal program serving over 1.2 million children daily in eight states in India. On Sunday, March 6th, Akshaya Patra will host its Bay Area Food for Education Benefit at the ICC India Community Center Imal Peters with Dr. Deepak Chopra as a keynote speaker. Limited seats are available, so for more information and for tickets, please visit www.foodforeducation.org. That's foodforeducation.org or call Sandhya at 408-505-9416. That's 408-505-9416. Akshaya Patra Foundation is a registered 501c organization in the United States. Reading is the foundation and basis of all learning. Facts show that children and teenagers who love reading have comparatively higher IQs. The more creative they are and the better they do in school and college. The habit of reading also helps readers to decipher new words and phrases that come across in everyday conversation. Reading provides a productive approach to improving vocabulary and word power. However, California remains at the bottom of the barrel in the national test scores for reading, sharing last place with Louisiana, Arizona, New Mexico and Washington, D.C. The state's reading scores have remained flat since the last assessment in 2007. And with the recent budget cuts in school, parents don't hold your breath for better results. You need to bring your child to the 3 R's Club, which is part of the Little Genius Kid. The 3 R's Club is Read, Respond and Reiterate, where your child can attend reading classes and reading books to practice reading fluently, comprehension, reiteration and voice inflection and expression, building an extensive vocabulary and love for reading and speaking. Membership start from only $100 a month. We target preschool, pre-K, kindergarten and grades kindergarten through to 6th grade. Call 510-445-0197. That's 510-445-0197 for more information on the 3 R's Club. Do you know of any children that are talented? Children that can draw, paint, tell jokes, dance, do mimicry, magic tricks, or maybe even their pet can do some tricks. Anything amazing and unusual? Well, Spandana's Got Talent is seeking that child. This is a chance for that child to showcase their talent and art at a premiere show on March the 19, 2011 at the Windermere Ranch Middle School in San Ramon. Visit www.spandana.org That's S-P-A-N-D-A-N-A dot org or call Girik Prasad at 201-606-3949 Don't miss this opportunity to showcase your talent and be part of a non-profit organization to make a difference in the lives of others. Give Mr. Giri Prasad a call at 201-606-3949. Social media networking is quickly becoming a powerful marketing and branding strategy for all businesses around the globe. It is critical to create awareness for your services and products and have a system of receiving feedback to improve your offerings. All businesses are embarking into implementing social media to streamline their sales, marketing, public relations and customer service to energize their business online. But how do you find the time to do all this when you're too busy with your day-to-day -day operations? Then you need the services of Sheetal Ori. Sheetal is a result-driven business development entrepreneur having 17 years of experience in the hotels, restaurants, travel and IT industry with PR, sales and event management as her forte. She also provides consultancy in establishing and fundraising for non-profit organizations and small business owners and startups. Call Sheetal today at 415-505-9592. That's 415-505-9592 or visit her website at www.sheetalori.com. That's Sheetal, S-H-E-E-T-A-L, Ori, O-H-R-I.com for more information. How many? Hello and welcome back. And for those who've just tuned in, you're listening to Women Empowered. I'm your host, Renu Dillon. With me is Naina from the Global Walk for India's Missing Girls. And we're trying to educate all of you to understand how important it is for us to get together and act as civilized humans to stop this atrocity of little girls being killed in India. And believe it or not, it is happening. So let me ask you, Naina, in your experience when you went and you did this research, is there any particular area in India where, you know, particular region in India where this is happening more than anywhere else? Sure. It it's actually seems to be happening more in uh, Punjab, Haryana, and Delhi. And people say, oh, it happens only in the rural areas. But, uh, you know, through my research and talking to people, that actually even the educated, the wealthy are resorting to this. 
Absolutely. So I know now you're you're working on a documentary film called Petals in the Dust. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what is the focus of the the whole movie? Sure. So the, the Petals in the Dust India's mis- is, is about India's missing girls. Uh, it focuses on female feticide and infanticide in India and also, you know, the consequences that are going to hit India because of, you know, the gender imbalance in some parts of India there are only about uh, 500 girls to so 1000 boys so it is leading to increase in trafficking uh, sexual abuse you know um, men are marrying more than one women bride uh, buying uh, and also we want to highlight the non profits that are working to you know stop this uh, genocide and create awareness of the value of the girl child and you know show how women have achieved so much in life and you know if we didn't if we destroyed all our women who would you know who would be turned to who you know? who would produce exactly you know, yeah. who would produce right. uh, yeah this is this is what shocks me is, is that people don't understand that you know in actually i'm sikh mm-hmm. and in our religious uh, in our religious book our the reference of you know the guru granth sahib it actually says why condemn those who give birth to kings and i used to i was only about i think 10 or 11 when i fought this i argued this in in school back in kenya because you know i had this whole thing about why do people celebrate so much with laddus when boys are born and when girls are born nobody wants to talk about it yeah. and i've personally gone through this experience myself in my own former marriage you know and um it it just appalls me that we want to kill girls and yet we don't realize that you know who's going to produce these men are produced from from women right, exactly. you know and our mothers right. our grandmothers uh, right. our sisters they're all girls right yeah so i love the name petals in the dust how did you come up with that name uh i just you know i think indian uh, girls are so beautiful and uh, that they are being destroyed just like uh, you know rose petals sprinkled into the dust ground into the dust by their the, their parents and their families and uh, that's why i chose the name Now what kind of what kind of support do you need? I'm sure you need support to uh, to you know get this cause out worldwide. What kind of help Absolutely. do you need? Absolutely. So I, you know, uh, I definitely need support with funding for the film. I have interviews lined up. I have uh, you know all I need is people to fund so we can continue to produce the film and then distribute it to schools and libraries, women's organizations. And I also want people to just spread the word, you know, create more awareness. You've given out the website, so send it to everyone you know. If you're free on Saturday, come to the walk in San Francisco at 11 a.m. at Civic Center and show take a stand. We also have the walk happening in you know different parts of India, so if you go to the website, you can find out details. And now how many uh, volunteers or people do you have actually have here that are helping you with this on on social media and and do, or you do you need more actually to I'm get involved? I actually it's really my husband and me and a few volunteers so I'm always looking for people to help uh, with that and I'm having a fundraiser in San Francisco on May 14th to uh, you know raise more funds and awareness for the film so uh, again I would love people to sp- sponsor the event to um, you know it come as guests it's going to be uh, we're going to celebrate the indian girl child and the indian women so it's not just a sad event but it's going to be happy and a lot of fun so. absolutely and for those who've just tuned in again we're listening to global walk for india's missing girls we're speaking to naina and she can be reached at 415 823 and her website is petalsinthedust.com you can also find her on facebook as global walk for india's missing girls which is happening this saturday in san francisco 11 o'clock and it's did you say civic it's san francisco uh, city hall san francisco city hall and how long is the walk going to be for it's we're going to have a couple of speakers first and then we're going to walk so we should be done by about 12:31 and the walk is very short you don't have to be you know very athletic it's a very easy walk so it's, it's a, a good workout it's a, yeah it's a pretty good and we may even have a bollywood dance performance before the walk starts and get people people exercising Great. Right. Well, thank you so much Naina. It's been a pleasure having you. And thank you everyone for tuning in. This is Women Empowered again being brought to you by Radio Fundu and I'm your host Renu Dillon. And until next Wednesday at 10 10:30 in the morning till 11 o'clock, keep smiling. And remember, just as Edith Wharton once said, there are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. And I hope every single woman listening today can make a difference to our women's society. And all of you who have daughters, go home and celebrate with them and those who don't think about having one until next week have a safe week do you know what genius means the original meaning of genius means to give birth to joy and that is within each child as related to the word genesis 
Every child comes into life with wonder, curiosity, spontaneity, flexibility and many other joyful qualities. It is imperative that as educators and parents we help preserve these genius qualities of children as they mature into adulthood. And this is exactly what we do at The Little Genius Kid. A brand new center and the very first franchise of Genius Kids open in San Ramon, our vision is tender loving care to think, lead and communicate. Our goal is to provide high standards of education in creative fun classrooms and dedicate our unique accelerated learning methods to developing leaders of tomorrow. Targeting age groups 2 to 12, call 925-244-1080. That's 925-244-1080 or visit thelittlegeniuskid.com. That's the L I L geniuskid.com. Do you love talking? Are you opinionated, passionate and charming with screen presence and poise? Have you always wished to be a TV host and personality? Well, this is your chance. In Diva 2011 being brought to you by Renu Dillon is produced in collaboration with Women Now TV and Sheetal Ori and our exclusive media sponsor Radio Fundu. In Diva is that platform for the South Asian woman who seeks to be the face and voice of tomorrow. The winner of the event will become the co-host of the Voice for the Bay Area Women Now TV show which is www.womennow.tv and an opportunity to host TV Asia programming as well. TV Asia is the first coast to coast entertainment and information channel for the South Asian community settled in the United States. The competition is open to South Asian women ages 18 plus. Age is no limit. Single, married or divorced who is a legal US resident. The winner may be from any part of the United States. We have a special segment called the Young Ambassadors Award. We understand and appreciate that there are many young aspiring teens who wish to be on media and television and this segment is open to teens ages 15 to under 18. The winner will be the Young Ambassador for Women Now TV show in their own city or state of residence and will cover important topics there. For more information call Renu at 510 Three six four four zero three three. The views, opinions, and statements expressed in the preceding program.